Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video we will have a look at the Romeo 7S in a special version from Optics Planet website. Uh, this version is in Coyote Brown sand or tan color. It's a limited edition, especially made for that Optics Planet website. Uh, usual those uh, optics are just in black. The item comes in the typical sturdy solid uh, box from Six Hour. We see there some more information on it. As we open the box, of course, we have the red dot. We have a typical moisture pack. On the side is a little bag with uh, some more screws if you need it. Uh, then a bag with the with the battery, and uh, another bag with the usual tool uh, that they give, uh, so you can mount the item using this side with the Torx or the flat side for adjustment of the sides. So uh, that is really nice from them that you have already a fitting a screwdriver uh, with you. Uh, the negative on that uh, tool is that it doesn't have any, any lanyard hole so you can uh, actually uh, put it say on a keyring or something like that. So what I always do is simply drill a hole in here and uh, put a, a bigger uh, split ring on it. Uh, so you can uh, easily put it on a keychain if you want to have that. Now we're going to have a look at the manual of it. Of course it comes with a pretty nice big manual. Uh, I just want to have that on the video so if you need it you can stop the video and have a look at it. Uh, this is a AAA battery red dot. That's the main reason why I wanted it. Uh, you can get that actually as a green dot as well. Uh, for me here in the jungle uh, it's a bit uh, green is not too well for using in a tactical way. Uh, so I stick with red. Uh, then you also get the usual claws for wipe down the lenses. Uh, the item itself has in front and in the back uh, protection of the lenses so uh, that shouldn't be that much of a of a problem to uh, keep them keep them uh, clean. You can easily close those again back up and you can aim through the thing uh, even with uh, with the lenses on the lens protector on so no problem there at all. Then the main compartment here is for the battery. Uh, we have uh, from the back as we would aim through the through the side the switch to put it on and this position it's off and you can simply switch through the different positions. We hear the, the nice clicking sound. I always go uh, first all the way uh, from uh, zero to uh, I would say six o'clock position so that we get a nice uh, medium uh, red uh, dot in it. But uh, you can always go all the way to the stop there and then you get the dot really bright. Unfortunately, you cannot go directly from uh, on to full power. You need the the thing has a stop in it, so you need to go all the way back to off. You cannot go with the thing over towards the left uh, to put it fully on. That is a drawback, unfortunately. On the other side, if it turns on by itself, at least it's not on on a, a full full uh, on version. Uh, then we have on the front uh, basically the other side of the thing the cap that is secured with a cable. 
as we take that off it's a bit uh, uneasy to take off and that is good that uh, it won't come off that easy it has a o-ring of course once i loosened it up it it uh, is relatively easy coming off uh, what we also have to look is at that cable that we screw that off while the cable is a bit out of the way uh, the cable is a great idea so that the the cap can't be lost uh, what I need to do is uh, put a bit of grease on the thread there and uh, we see the spring inside and the supplied uh, energizer uh, AAA battery uh, that I'm gonna replace with a lithium one uh, we have here the laser engraving with the plus and the minus so the plus one goes in the thing and uh, then the whole thing gets closed inside the hole it looks like that and uh, by the way the covers are switchable I always have it that it flips down and not up but you can uh, turn it around of course that it flips up uh, as you want you can also take them off if you want so the plus side goes in cap goes on then we need to start the thread a bit uneasy to do in front of the camera reaching around it but uh, once we get it started the whole thing goes together really really nicely just hand tight the o-ring seal is in place then we have the two adjustment knobs uh, well protected left and right up and down again uh, fitting the part here from the wrench really nice and then we have the mount uh, with the for the for the Picatinny rail a typical typical design nothing special uh, with the cutout for uh, saving the weight and with a screw on this side so you can uh, simply uh, screw it on on the rail in that position has the button here that goes into the cutout of the rail so it won't uh, move and uh, we have quite a, a good uh, distance in between so uh, if you have out of spec rail that item has quite some uh, material and space there that it would uh, fit of course you can also take the four screws out with the with the wrench and uh, use different mounts if you need a higher mount or if you want to uh, mount it uh, with a with a lower uh, mount that is possible too uh, this site as usual is set up for r15 mounts so uh, that you can use it on a on a r15 uh, without any problems that's the main uh, market for uh, this site uh, here in usa so that fits really well so all in all what I sure like is the quality uh, that it uses uh, AAA batteries uh, even uh, as it is a bit sad that they did not uh, supply a lithium uh, battery that would work in a colder weather a bit better uh, it would also be nice if they would uh, make an olive green uh, version not only the black and the tan but uh, but olive green uh, version for people that live in the jungle like I do uh, so uh, all in all of course it's made in China to uh, specs from a uh, six hour that is how that is our days uh, the battery life is uh, relatively long too so all in all that is a, a great uh, uh, possible choice to uh, use as an optic on the R15 uh, because it uses those uh, AAA batteries that you can get uh, basically at any any gas station uh, you are not uh, dependent on on a uh, specialized uh, coin cells that you may or may not uh, find in the field uh, but a uh, AAA that is a common uh, battery uh, that is uh, out uh, for a long time and will stay with us for a long time uh, again too 
so all in all I like it uh, there is not many many drawbacks uh, on it uh, other than uh, maybe the price uh, currently uh, the Optics Planet uh, website uh, has it on sale for $99 uh, which is uh, cheaper than uh, black version uh, usually cost uh, as I did order that item uh, they even had a $10 uh, off discount uh, code so uh, that was really a deal and uh, that uh, was a great uh, buy at that time uh, maybe they do that again uh, who knows but uh, as best as I saw as I make this video uh, they still are by $99 so that much about that special version of the Romeo 7S